In this video, I'm going to be describing how to set up your client's sales funnel. And we're going to break this down into seven steps. First, you're going to add their company. You're going to add their website. Then you're going to set up their lead capture for phone, form, and text messaging. You're going to add the users for your company. Set up your budget and goals. Customer stages. Step strip marketing email templates. And then adding your products or services. So first, you're going to go in and sign in here at crm.funnelscience.com and you're going to go to settings and then companies and so you're going to add a company so click that company button and then just call it the name so i'm going to name this lead is a law firm that just signed up with us so i'm going to go ahead and add them i'm going to pick the start date today and you can move on to the next one if you have multiple setups now immediately went to here so i'm going to go pick him now you're going to see there's nothing set up and then immediately we're saying no linked websites so we'll just go ahead and create that so you've added the company now you need to add their sales funnel and there and typically you're going to use a website so the first thing you're just going to do is name it law now he has multiple websites so i'm going to set up multiple funnels for him and then the allowed domain so here is this. This is the allowed domain, so I'm going to take that and put it here. And then what's the Google Analytics number? So just look up Google Analytics real quick by going to their website. There's many ways to look up the UA number. I just happened to go that way. Now there's types of websites. There's basically staging websites and production websites. So if you wanted to track a staging server and test this stuff out, you could build two websites, one for staging and one production. Now you're going to enable a validation. When you enable the validation, it's going to link to the Google Analytics number and then allow you to set the account, the property, and the profile. So I'm going to go ahead and check that, but that's not the main purpose of this video. But let's see if we can find them in the list. I don't think that we're linked up yet. No, we're not linked up yet. So basically, you got to add in the Google Analytics or you have to have that set with your username. I don't have it set with my username, so I can't find it. So that's okay, just go to Google Analytics and then get your client to add you or link to your account. Okay, so the way that you would do that, it's pretty simple. You just go to the Analytics Admin. So here it just loaded, a, go to Admin and the account that you would want, you would pick from the list or you would need to add a new, create a new account. Once you created the new account, you would go to the user management. Once you're at the user management, you hit this plus button, add a new user, and then add in your company name. Okay, so back to funnel science. The most important thing to do when you're setting up is to set up your lead gen form routes for lead capture and set up your phone tracking routes. So now I'm going to go in. We added the website. Now we're going to add a phone route. So this phone route is going to be for the law firm to get more sales. And they want a very type of specific customer. They want bankruptcy customers or bankruptcy clients, right? So now on the base number, the base number is the tracking number or the, for, the customer's main phone number. So that's their main phone number. So I'm going to put that there. That basically means we're going to send the calls to that phone number. Now you have some options. Do you want to track it? Yes, we want to track it. Is it a confidential call? Yes, it's confidential. Do we need to tell people that they're being recorded? Yes, we're needing to tell them that it's being recorded. Do you want to turn on the call transcriptions? So we're going to record the phone call and then we can record the call and transcribe it into text. So yeah, let's turn that one on. Now we have a few other options. We can send you an email for all new calls just give me your email address. So in this case, I might put in. And then let's say you wanted to get alerted in real time if you were missing your phone calls. Well, we can send you a text message for any calls that you're missing. And then link up to Google Analytics. This is for conversion tracking. I'm going to cover this in another step. Basically, you can link your phone calls to Google Analytics or your marketing campaigns and track phone calls as conversions. So now we've got the basic phone route set up. Now we just need to assign a phone number or multiple phone numbers if you're doing dynamic tracking. 
So typically what you want to do is you want to get an area code that matches the business. So I'm going to just go here, do a quick search and try to find a phone number that's at least the 610 area code. And ideally we find one that's going to be 323 or something close to match, right? So hit the search button, 610 numbers, 463. So for today, these are pretty close, not exactly what I'm looking for, but close enough. So now I just assigned that tracking number to this law firm. And what we're going to do is we have this tracking code down here at the bottom. So if you're a webmaster, if you, if you know how to edit code, pretty simple. You just copy this into the head and then where you want the phone number to go, you're going to put this class right here. If you're not a webmaster, just put your webmaster's email address here. So info at whatever your webmaster's. Hit the send button and it will send them an email with the instructions so they can install this for you. Normally it takes about 10 minutes. Going back to the funnel, so we just covered how to add a company, add a website. We talked about adding a lead capture for phone. Now let's go do it for form. It's basically the same thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back to the website. This is the website we're editing, so I'm going to edit it. And then I'm going to go here. Now we don't have any templates set up or any form. So let's start with just setting up a form. The name of the form is bankruptcy contact. Is there a calendar? No, there's no calendar. There's not a template. Now the from address. The from address means this is the address. So when you when the customer submits the contact form, we're going to do an auto reply to them. So that should match. Should be something like this. It should be maybe info at this or maybe customer service whatever email address you reply and then you should say something like we received your message. and then redirect. The redirect would be the path that you redirect them to. So after they fill out the contact form and then maybe you send them to a thank you page or a next steps page. And then an email header. In the email header sometimes companies set this, other times they don't. I'm not going to set it for now. Just went ahead and save. So now as soon as you hit the, the save button you can click here for form instructions and FAQs you have this little short code right here that's actually what needs to get installed on your website we also if you are a WordPress customer we have a plugin that you can download the plugin just by clicking the link okay so now we've covered the forms and phone tracking and then in your phone route so if we go back to the website so you just hit the back button so now you've set up a phone route phone tracking route in the companies in my company so now it's set up you're gonna go here and then set the outgoing phone route that you want and then you're gonna set the contact this is what allows you to do call click to call and this is also what lets you set text messaging and it's picking this phone number from our tree or our, our route to use as the the phone number that the customer sees on text messages and on their caller ID for click to call. Now the next thing is add users, add budget, customer stages, and add products. I'm going to record that in the next video. I will send you the instructions next.